hey everyone welcome to my channel living free with low another day out here i'm trying to get my flowers out it's supposed to go off and on all week it's high winds today and i'm trying to to get this organized where i have flowers but let me show you i started this and it was really windy i had a hard time with it so i only got half done but this is what i'm putting up um i still have over here And then I have it here to here so far. And then I only have that little bit. But I have to wait for a while. Um, it's supposed to really it's very windy. It's been 10 to 20 miles per hour and I can feel it. But I started this patch. I'm trying to get my marigolds out. A lot of work. It took me a, at least a half hour just to try to get this out right here. It's like a hot mess. So... I decided I'm going to try to tackle this, put some weed fabric down, and um, keep that patch right there. And I think I'm going to put marigolds there. I have other plants I'm going to put in. I want to get my grape seeds in, um, my sunflower seeds, definitely. So I have a lot of planting because I figure before the rain happens, it's just this rain, um, this wind is the problem. So I'm going to save this for another time because of the fact that it is so windy. Um, and plus, um, not that it's, it's windy, I'm sorry, take that back. It's, um, it's basically because of when it rains, it's easier to pull out weeds here. And I think I can tackle it better. Like I have my daffodils here. I was going to do weed fabric all the way around, but I have, I have stuff in here that I don't want to get ripped out. So I'm trying to save that for stuff I can use. And I think I'm going to put, like I said, it right there and then, uh, put something over here. Instead of ripping that out if it's easy then fine but i think i'm gonna put weed fabric down just to control it right there because this gets it too and there's tons of stuff there so all right give you i'll give you an update and i'll show you what i got done all right excuse me i decided i'm going to do the the foot since there's not a lot of nutrition here and i had my carrots radishes i had a little bit of stuff here with a little uh, with my hand tiller what I'm doing, instead of wasting my weed fabric, you know, Patera did say she's, she's done with it. She she is, uh, you know, back then, her ancestors didn't worry about weeds. They pulled out what they can. But basically, I don't want to waste it just in case I need it for something else. That's why I'm trying not to use it over here. Um, I'm just going to put something here to... Uh, to try to control it by putting some kind of I'm going to do marigolds and then I'm going to get something that is a real good plant that controls the weeds and I'm going to stick that right here what I'm doing here is doing the flip I'm digging it up as far as I can down with the dirt with the grass and flipping it because that grass that's growing in here is bringing nutrition to it so it's keeping it and it's feeding it yeah you might have to pull weeds and everything but this is another way between the, the weed fabric if you can afford it and if you want to deal with it and then you have um, uh, boxes I know a lot of people are ordering on Amazon and different places you can control from that and then the flip where you take the grass usually in, uh, in fall time people will go out to their gardens and flip getting that grass and then put boxes on top or straw or leaves to control the weeds for it through the whole you know until you know springtime it helps them out um so there's there, there's so many ways that you can you can actually do things so i wouldn't be discouraged and thinking that you have to have weed fabric because you don't you really don't need it i just got it because uh it was just too much for me and i had it in my budget and that, that was my goal and i don't regret it um I, I'm going to be putting holes in it. I, that's the only thing is I don't like putting holes in it because then it frays and you have to replace it. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to replace it sometime, but I don't want to put holes in it. Um, basically, I just go in the seams and that's where I grow. I just put push a pool back and put it, uh, a stake in it. And that's how I'm doing it. Um, in here, I don't know. I might put a row here, there. That's the whole thing here. I can do whatever I want now. And and do the hole and stop the bugs from you know it laying right on the soil and rotting that's another thing too i have issues here because it rains a lot but other than that i'm not like around here i'm not worrying about that i'm not worrying about all this stuff i'm not worrying about that 
But what I'm trying to do here is put in something that comes back every year. I know Marigolds don't, but Marigolds is a good pest control for certain things. So that's the only reason why I'm, I'm trying to clear out this bed over here. It, um, I'm going to get that really cleaned out really well. And then over here, I'm not really, I'm just flipping as I go. I have my little hand tiller. I'm flipping it and I'm going to just put something here. I'm going to go in, look and see what is a good plant that I can plant here that can control the weeds and take over and comes back every year. Um, I might have to water it or I might have it. Who knows? But that's my goal. I want to get something that controls the weed and I can put it right in here and have no trouble with it. So, all right, I just thought to let you know about that. I'm going to continue and I'll show you, like I said, uh, through in and out of things I'm getting done here. Um, I like to get these seeds in because it's going to rain is the perfect time. I'll keep them, keep them wet. I needed to share all this hard work and only from one plant came out here, <clears throat> came in here to see and look, look how big that one is. These are myth, more over here growing. All from one plant from Home Depot. So you don't have a lot of money. All you need is one of these plants. It's been about four years now. And this is how much I got her. All, all this, all that. And I'm moving them slowly. But yeah, this is what you get. I do have to come in here and trim down and get, you do supposed to space them out. So they think about the strawberries, because look, see, I got one here coming. There it is, yeah. Let me see, I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, see? They are all growing. We're gonna have strawberries. Jam's coming, strawberry jam. And freeze it. I have more I'm doing. I'm doing sunflowers. And then over here, uh, I have three. I wanted to divide it because this is where uh, grapes and loofah. And I've been looking into it for what is companion. So loofah is going to go over here. And it, it, they said it's like three, uh, 30 foot or something. No, maybe three feet. No, 30, I think. <clears throat> Across. So it grows quite a bit. So I'm going to put it all loofah, except for in the center from here. There's three sunflowers. Over there, three, and then three over here. Did the same thing here, but these will be grapes because they're good companions with oregano, which is over there. And there's some flowers in that um, bucket there too. So that's what I've been looking at. And then the spacing in the back, um, I could put chives. Uh, there's different stuff that I can put. I have it written down, a good companion. So that's why I'm gonna fill up those empty spots. But they said grapes are like 150 inches or something like that. It's, it's quite a bit, so it will go over this. And then in the back, I did um, some flowers back there. I'm gonna, now I have these bulbs that come back every year. And the deer and the rabbit don't like it, and I'm blocking the bottom of the fence. I put my marigolds out. I have different areas of that too. So... Yeah, it's, it's pretty windy, and it's like I said, often when it's going to rain, so they're going to get watered. And this is the best time, they said, put out your seeds, because then, you know, rain water's way better. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to keep on going, and I'll add more seeds, see what happens. So stay tuned. All right, so let me show you what I got done. This is where I put the, the marigolds, the seeds down. You can't see I put a bunch of flowers here, um, like a, a baby breaths. Hopefully it works out. It's been really hot. Um, here, I put these in there. I bought these at the Dollar Tree and they come back every year. I put them there. I put a bunch of different seeds here. And then I show you over here. Right here, I put a bunch of um, seeds of marigolds. Put stuff here. Just throw, just I'm just throwing seeds all over. Now I'm going to take you to the back. Look what I see. First green bean. Yay! That's a nice to see that, and I have another one there. Yeah. That's happy when he sees something like that. I see them starting to pop up. 
And then back here, I did those same ones that it, they're yellow. I put marigolds down here. And then I put those same ones that come back every year. Um, and then let's see where else I put. And here I put marigolds, marigolds down here. So that's what I got done. And I'm continuing, but yeah, these green beans are coming popping up. So some of them did, some didn't yet. I still have patience. I'm gonna water them down again. Um, oh, another thing too. Here, I used this box, and it looked like it, it buckled. I'm hoping it works out. It's just something I'm trying. But I put some flower seeds in here. I put the um, the blue ones and then the yellow. So there'll be two blue and, blue, uh, and then some yellow. And these, it looks like it's very dry. The box might not w work it, but I'll, I'll figure something out. But right now, this is a good way. A cheap way, just use a box. You know? And I might just add more dirt, which, by the way, I thought it was going to be enough. It's not. So I have to go and get more dirt. And as I get more dirt, I'll just throw more on top of here and just do it. So I have a lot of watering to do. Let's see. It looks like there's a there's a corn right there coming. Another one. Uh, look right there. Okay. Corn. Oh, this is exciting. So yeah, it, they're starting to show some of them. Oh, these are green beans. Right here, look, green bee. Oh, I'm excited, guys! So there, it's starting, starting to pop up. I just can't wait to see it, what it looks like when I have all the flowers, the corn popping up. You know, let me check my potatoes. I didn't know if these guys work or not. It might, might not work. Some over here worked, but the rest of them they're not showing. I think there's a little bit popping up there. Up. Just seen some. This is a potato. Yep. Uh, it's very dry, so I'm gonna have to come out here and water some of these guys. They're not. It's it's it, it's really weird because we're not getting really. We get the rain in and we don't get the rain. I didn't want to overwater them last night. Last night I watered, and this is what happened. So, all right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not sub, please sub to me and hit that notification bell for future videos. God, I'm getting so much done. I'm, I'm really satisfied with what I'm doing. I still have quite a bit to do, but I will get them done. Um, I'm not sweating it. And keep on gardening, putting those seeds. And if they don't start popping up, fill the hole. That's all. Until it does. Then you just have different times. You can keep on growing all the way up i mean where i'm at i'm able to just keep on growing you know if it doesn't work out but you have also have to have patience they might pop up later and then you just you just keep on continuing getting food so either way it works out all right guys have a good one bye now a broken down blue collar